And into the garden a serpent did come. Or in this case, a giant house spider. All right, so I found this creepy giant house spider on my ceiling in the kitchen. Ugh. And I said, let's see if it'll eat spider babies. Hi, everybody. Beanmeister22 here. And this is day nine of the Black Widow spider babies that hatched. And oh, they're horrible. So we put the giant house spider very carefully in with these spider babies because we couldn't have any of these monsters escaping. And what do you know? At first, it didn't look very good for the giant house spider. But then she got to work. Just watch. Wasn't that exciting? As you can see, the giant house spider is bundling up a dozen or so, dozens, dozens, tens of dozens, a whole lot of baby spider babies. These horrible black widow spider babies are just putting them in a ball and gonna eat them. That is great. Although at this point, it still is a little touch and go because the spider babies do have some sticky web and the giant house spider gets stuck every once in a while but she is certainly holding her own. So is this the solution to hatching spider babies? Just giant house spiders, you know, eating them? We have put a giant house spider in with a black widow spider in the past because we've been told, oh, giant house spiders will eat black widows and brown recluses and hobo spiders. It has not been our experience that that is what happens because you put the giant house spider in with a black widow and the black widow says, Rawr! and then eats it. So yeah, this is kind of cool that the giant house spider is just eliminating this spider baby problem we have. And yes, spider babies are a problem. So what do you think? Creepy, not creepy, cool spider babies? Leave your comments in the comment section. As always, thanks for watching. Beanmeister 22 the most dangerous man on YouTube.